Hi guys, my name is Amanda and today we're finally here. I can't put it off anymore. I realize that a lot of people have already uploaded their uh, July Happy Planner lineup. Um, so um, I know that I'm late, but I have been trying to film a whole series of me setting up all these planners that you see here for the most part. And um, I just wanted to uh, make sure that before I put anything out that I wa had it the way that I wanted it and I didn't want it like film something and then change it up and then if I do a plan with me that you guys have 20 questions I'm like oh I thought you said you were doing this and believe me I am one of those people that will literally question everything so um, oh, before I even talk about planners here I just want to say that um, things that are going on in our community are things that have been long overdue um are things that should not be news to people these are things that have been altering lives of people like myself people who are black people who come from different backgrounds um of any kind these are the things that people have faced their entire lives this is not something new unfortunately you know I've had bouts of racism in my life where people have called into question my skin color, have called into question my identity, um, and you know, it hurts. So I am a firm believer in the Black Lives Matter movement, but I'm also a firm believer in peaceful protests and also a firm believer in everybody has a purpose on this planet, whether you're white, black, brown, purple, whatever. You have a purpose, and I believe that nobody's purpose covers anybody else's. So with that being said, I just want to get into this video, and I this is a place of peaceful, that I want to have peace here, because this is something that's very important to me, and the fact that even race cuts called into question in a planner community when it's just pen and paper and stickers is really, it's really showing you where, our, where we are as a society. So, um, with that being said, um, I will link some some uh, articles or things that I have come across in educating myself on this whole um, on this whole thing. And yeah, anyway, so on a lighter note, let's kind of just boost the let's just make it a little lighter here on the channel, and let's move right into my planner lineup. As you can see, um, I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven planners here. Don't be fooled. Two of them, three, two of them are Frankenplanned. But I will say though that two of them aren't even planners. Um, so let's just let's just say that. So I think we're gonna start off with the smallest to largest. And right here, this is a micro notes. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in. It literally is so tiny. Okay. So this is my micro notes. Originally it has, this is a wrong, wrong micro notes cover, but I flipped it inside out because I like the black and white better with the uh, lavender disc. These are mini uh, metal lavender disc. These are the only lavender disc I could find to even purchase anywhere. So I was thinking about doing a whole micro notes setup video, but that would literally be a waste of, I'm not saying like a waste of time, but it's nothing really to it. This is gonna, this is not even a planner. This is just a password and address book that I'll be using. So this front section will be used for, um, so I just have it where I just have blank note sheets in here. And I made these little clear dashboards myself. I just used whatever came on here as the packaging and I cut it up and made it into a little dashboard. It's not perfect. Um, I will be looking into uh, actually seeing if I can find actual dashboards. To purchase I know little miss fancy plans um cat home Akita makes her own so I totally recommend you go check out her channel she has a shop and everything in there is beautiful um and uh I will be looking into making some purchases from there to kind of complete the setup of some of my planners 
mainly this one and uh, my Skinny Classic, I think. But I do have a set of videos coming up of the Skinny Classic, so don't worry about that. But I just have some note sheets in here, and I found these actually at Michael's. It's a little checklist, and I figured I'll throw these in in the back just in case I need, because I like to have note paper wherever I'm at. So this will be an address and password book because I'm always forgetting my passwords, even though I recycle the same five passwords, I always forget whether it's like, if it's my bank account, I don't forget it because that's really important. But if it's like um, my one of my Google accounts or if it's a uh, login for QVC or something, I will totally forget it because I will just do save password and then I'll never have to type my password in again until they're like, oh, we need you to verify your number or something. And then I'm like, oh, damn, I don't remember it at all. So I want to have this added in. I don't know um, how much I'll use it, but because pretty much after I write all the stuff in here, I won't really need it like as in like decorating or anything like that. But I will need this to like to refer to just in case I forget something, which I'm always forgetting something. So password book. There you go. Not a planner. Okay, mom, not a planner. I know she's going to be watching this video. Okay, next up is the one of the little guys. So this right here is a skinny classic. And yes, I also put metal lavender disc on this one because look at her purple dress and the purple flowers in here. And I have to say the reason why I adore this planet is just how diverse it is with all of its girls. And also the wrong wrong collection has a lot of diversity in there as well. So this right here is a Squad Goals, Squad Girls Skinny Classic. This came out actually in the winter release for 2020, and this is a 12-month planner, and I've just been, I did use this for on the go, but now I'll be using this for my lettering challenges. Um, I'm really excited to try this out. So right here, I'm just going to write down whatever word I'm supposed to do, and then I just write down whatever it is. And I do have a setup video coming up for this as well. But I love this. It's so cute. Um, I was trying to use this as an on-the-go, but it just wasn't doing it for me. I write too big. I have too many things going on at once. So I just wanted to have this for something. I didn't want it to go to waste. I don't know if I will carry this as another thing. We'll have to see how it goes, honestly. But I have been keeping the dash, the dividers because I do like the dividers. I do hoard the dividers because I find them so cute. And yeah, and then I just have here a little pen pouch that I put over it. And I just have three of my favorite pens here for uh, lettering, you know, two Tombos. And then I have my Pilot G2.38, again, with the uh, mini lavender metal disc. So that's planner number one. Moving on to my second planner. Um, I can't decide which one's bigger. <laughs> Next, so um, I guess we'll talk about this guy. This is a... Um, this is um, a mini happy planner. This is actually a, a happy notes. I purchased this one because I wanted to try recipe keeping because my mom makes so many bomb dishes that I want to actually try <laughs> recipe keeping. And I there do actually have actual recipe, uh, recipe keeping planners, but um, I decided I'm gonna try this out a little bit. And if I want to invest in a recipe keeper later, I will buy one. So, and I really like this cover a lot. I thought it was super cute, and I like this inside cover too with that mustard stripes. And I'm just keeping it in this uh, gold deluxe cover. Um, and this I got from Zoo Lily. So yeah, that's not really a planner, just an extra notebook. Okay. Next up is my, this one is, I'm so excited for this because it's like, the way I have it Frankenplanned, it's ridiculous. And I have a video coming up on how I Frankenplanned this. So right now in here, I have two planners in here. And I'll just show you like the insert. So I have here the monthly florals. Uh, this is the monthly layout. Um, so I'm really excited about using this section because I'm going to use it as a vision board. And then it comes with all these to-do lists extra. So that's really great. And I want to have that. But I also love this dashboard layout planner. This is the Modern Farmhouse. And I love this dashboard. Everything about it, I love it. So, I want to kind of frank and plan them together for my mini on the go. And I have enough space now for everything that I need. So I'm using the Modern Farmhouse cover as long as well as these uh, glitter gold uh, plastic mini disc. That's a lot of words. And um, I have a full setup on this so I won't go into too much detail. But I frank and plan it to where I get the best of both worlds. 
I get my vision board as well as my dashboard and, it, and it's going to be great. So this is technically two in one. So I guess this is planner number one. I guess this is planner number two and three. So we're up to three planners so far. Um, oh, and I do want to mention that I do have a mini happy planner that had that has not made it here yet. It's a horizontal wrong wrong, and I'm gonna use that for uh, my book planner. I've been thinking about doing a book planner because I've seen a lot of people have a book planner. Like I believe um, Southern Tea Time, I think it is. She has a book planner, or who was it? Oh my gosh. Either way, it's trending, and I was thinking about getting the actual bookish horizontal. But I saw that they had a wrong wrong one and I love the wrong wrong collection so I had to pick her up. So I do have that one coming so that counts as player number four. Okay. And then next up I have my skinny classic. Now I was thinking about using this as my new on the go. But I don't, but it's so long that it's not going to fit in every single bag that I own. And not that the mini is going to fit but... Um, in fit every single bag, but it's a lot more compact and I get a lot more out of it um, This one is gonna be my new budget planner actually and I have a whole setup on this So I won't go too crazy into it, but I have the inserts from the Wild style one and it actually came with this cover. I do like this cover So I feel like I will switch to this at some point, but for right now I'm using this wrong wrong happy notes half sheet cover because I really love it and I just use um I just use the, uh, let's flip to a blank one. I just use this section to write down any bills I have. Um, I have this as a check-in page to see what I start with in my account versus what I end with in the month. And then I just write down my daily expenses here. And I track it, it's a lot easier for me. And then I just have my cash envelopes in the back here. And it's been working really great. I also have these hot pink metal discs, like, oh my god. These are like giving me so much life right now. I'm really excited about that and I've been, it's been working for me so far. So that's planner number, because I have the three minis and the skinny. So this is five. Now let's talk about the big mamma jamma right here. This planner, this is my catch all. Now, this one is such a beefy planner. Um, it just has everything in it that I need for when I'm planning my my life, <laughs> basically. So, um, and I have here, this is the uh, monthly florals cover and I have some purple metal discs because I love purple and I thought it'd go really great with that purple flower there. And it's just, I think it's beautiful. I love it so much. I have a whole setup on this too. Open it up, you got your wild style planner. So I think I'm gonna show you each planner that I have in each section. So I have the wild style vertical uh, happy planner. And I have it because it's so neutral. So I got rid of my funky brights. I loved her, she was great. But you know, I found somebody new and she's treating me better. So I like this one a lot, neutral vibes. You got that pale pink and you got the browns and blacks and neutrals and it's I love it and um, I was debating on using this cover um, but I do think I like this cover a hell of a lot better um, so I have here the the wild style um, the wild style um, year to glance pages as well as I have this one from this is a vision board from the companion pack as well as a gold setting sheet from the farmhouse companion pack then you get into the actual uh, weeklies and the month and I just have I have basically one of each month in here so and then I just have a note section and um, I'm not gonna get too detailed about this then I have my monthly florals this these are just the inserts but it came with these beautiful discs and I'm trying to find out if I want to use these ones or to keep the purple I really love these discs though so it's like tricky but this is a monthly layout and this will be for my social media oh I almost didn't say but the wasa I use it as a daily planner um, but this this one is for social media so I figured that this would be something cool to try out and uh, so far I've been loving it. I mean, I think that I will be sticking with this one. 
Um, it's currently replacing my Erin Condren Multi Deluxe Planner. Um, like I said earlier in the video, um, there's been a lot going on in society and I've made my decision that I will be no longer advertising any Erin Condren products on my channel. So I'm switching over to Happy Planner to help me fill the gaps which Erin Condren left. And this one I think will work pretty well for me. I'm pretty excited to have that one. Okay, and then next up in the next section, um, Oh, and then I have a project section, but that's from the home extension pack. Then here I have the New Day Deluxe Dashboard Layout Planner. And this one I'm using for all my home projects. And also I keep track of my budgeting stuff in here. Um, just because I like, because I feel like a home ties in with budgeting. So I wanted to keep those in one place. And I really dig this. I keep track of my chores, the meal planning, all that good stuff. I keep track of it in here. And it's a dashboard and it's so neutral it hurts. I mean, let me see if I can find any. It's so neutral. There actually was the um, farmhouse one came out with this kind of too and that's what the mini one is. But it did have color here and this one doesn't. So that's why I picked, if I was gonna pick one for a dashboard for my larger one, I was gonna pick one that was so neutral that it hurt me. Okay. Like I said, I do have a I do have a budget section here, and these are all from the companion pack, along with this cute folder. Then last but not least, I well not last, but I have my uh, wellness section, all these extras like the vision board, that clear sleeve, and the uh, digital detox bucket list. Those are all from the digital detox. Um, the digital detox uh, companion pack. I also have a book. Um, reading list so um, I really have to think about how I'm gonna do that um, have it in here and then have an actual mini that's my gonna be my book one or I might switch it to where I use this horizontal one but we'll, I don't want to get too crazy then I have here my wellness one and I really dig this one um, I just keep track of all when my sleep schedule my work my uh, my food log any kind of exercise and my daily reflection which is where I put down all the activities I do that the day on a time block um, a weekly check-in I still have to fill mine out and then uh, I still haven't finished up this last week and I really dig that one that's the only one that's actually staying the same and then my last section is my faith and journaling section so um, in here I keep track of my daily Bible verses and then in here I keep track of my um, my journaling and I love this one because it's also neutral and then I just have some more note sheets in the back and that's pretty much it for this planner so in here I have one two three four five planners I have five planners in here added to my other five planners I think it was one two three four nine so that's nine planners and then i just have oh and then the other ones are ten and then i just have this one here i don't think i had her in the main intro sorry about that this one i was thinking about using for pre-planning my life but i don't think i'll need that for that so this is going to be actually my new academic planner like i said i need something with more space and it's blocked off so i have a space for each class and it just works better, honestly. I think I'll be using this one for my academics. So when I go back to school in August, I will start using this in August. Um, in July, it's going to go pretty much to waste, which makes me a little upset. But I'm okay with that because this I'll be keeping it for the rest of my time in college, which I hope to graduate fall of next year, fall 2021. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, um, all together I have 11 planners, I think. 11 planners and two notebooks. That's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this lineup. And without further ado, I guess that's it for the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.